I don't know how you do it down the years, especially being a player and then having the YouTube channel as well, but now as a manager, yeah. how do you find the time, personal life as well? Honestly, no time, mate. My life never stops, but I love that. Where to even start with this intro today? There is just so much to tell you um, about the two teams. I don't know where to begin. Cowden Beef, this time last year, they were preparing for life in League Two. They were a league team since 1905, right up until this season now, where they will be in the Lowland League. They've actually won the second, third, and fourth tier in Scotland, so they've had a lot of success in their history, but after a terrible few years in the league, um, they now find themselves in the Lowland League for this year. And then the away team, you're all going to be aware of, aren't you? Cy Ferry, Slaney, Kevin Kyle, and someone who's been on the video a few times, Mozza. Mozza's been involved with Broom Hill since before the Open Goal Lads came in, so it must be really, really ex exciting for him. Um, but yeah, I'm excited today. I'm going along. I think I'm on the press list for today. So hopefully I get to chat to one or two or maybe a few of the lads um, from the Open Goal team as well. So proper YouTube royalty. A little bit nervous to meet them all, as you can imagine, um, if I do even meet them all. Um, but yeah, it'd be fantastic to get them on the video. Really, really exciting year in the Lona League this year. Whether you're for or against a lot of the changes that have happened in the Lona League over the past few years with the B teams, now the Hearts B team, and with Open Goal, Broom Hill, and with the promotion and relegation out of it as well, there's been a few new teams come and go out of it in recent years it's going to be exciting this year nonetheless so yeah i'm looking forward to today my first lowland league game of the season you guys know how much i love scottish non-league football so absolutely buzzing big smile on my face please hit that like button please subscribe if you're new and i'll see you at cowden beef very shortly I'm Dale, um, I work for Kenway Football Club and I'm the role what I would say is assistant kit man. Um, I've done a number of roles here over the years, some social media stuff, filming, um, ball boy, uh, just help it wherever I can. A little bit of everything, but you started off as a fan of course of the club. Like 20 odd years. And how would you say the last sort of few years have gone for Cowden Beath? It's been, it's been hard going, um, obviously. We've got clubs on the up like Kelly Hearts and stuff like that with a lot of money, but I think the, the nucleus of this this club, the, the directors and that, they're, they're really good. So yep. it has been tough, but we're, we've got a good man at the helm now with Morris and Colin that you just met, Colin cool. Jack. Um, we've got a good young squad that that really want to fight, fight yeah. to make this club better. And it's a sort of, in a weird way, an aesthetically pleasing stadium. For me especially, is like taking clips of things and stuff. Why do you think more people should come here and watch uh, watch football at Cadenby? Um I think it's unique. It's unique. It's, it's I think it's probably one of the most famous stadiums in Scotland, yeah. probably. Yeah. Um, for the right or wrong reasons, but <laughs> Cadenby fans love it. We and it. we're still on the track now. Yeah. Would more people come to watch the stock car racing than the football? Probably, yeah. yeah. I think the stock cars have tailed off the past few years, I think. Yeah. But um, Cadenby's got a, 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 a set of fans that have followed the club through thick and yeah. thin, the same guys every week. Um, so that, that's a good thing about here, but it's, you, the place is unique as you can see, it's, you're, you're never going to see anywhere like this really, are you? I don't know how you do it down the years, especially being a player and then having the YouTube channel as well, but now as a manager, yeah. how do you find the time, personal life as well? Honestly, no time, mate. My life never stops, but I love that. I hate sitting about, hate sitting yeah, on the bet. couch. Um, obviously, I've got my two boys as well, so any spare time I do get their football daft, so I'm at the back crossing balls in for them. Uh, but it's great to, to be able to do something that you love, mate. Yeah, as a of course. Time, I, I realise how lucky I am that yeah, yeah. I get to speak about football, I get to play football and get to coach football. So, like I said, it could be a lot worse. Um, and and it, it genuinely is a, a period of my life that I'm really enjoying. Yeah, it's the dream. And um, for you, is there any managers that you've worked with that you would take bits from? Maybe not Decanio? No, no, definitely. <laughs> definitely Decanio. I've got a lot for him uh, in terms of standards, demands that, that you put on how you should live your life as a football player, whether yep. it's part-time, whether it's full-time. As I said, it's a privilege to be able to play football and get paid to do it. So, the minimum you can give is 100% every time you turn up. That's yep. stuck with me forever uh, in anything that you do. Um, and then his tactical side of things, he was a, I thought he was a genius. Cool, uh, yeah. He could have got his man management a wee bit better. He could have been a top, top manager. Um, other managers, Jim Mack and I last year, Peter Head, good man manager, really showed us how to treat men, how to, to deal with men. Yep. Um, so I learned a lot for Jim as well. And then obviously I've said it before, Tommy Burns when I was a kid, in terms of style I want to play when we've got the ball. Yeah, yeah. Um, again, him as well, the kind of demands that you put on you, the standards that you'd expect for you. So, and I've had a few influences. 
And from a football perspective and a content perspective, what can the fans expect? It's quite a unique story, isn't it, with you guys coming in and sort of coming yeah, involved? Yeah, well, I think what they up. can expect is, honestly, in truth, there'll be nobody putting on per acts or performances. Well, maybe Slaney will from time to time. Yeah. But, um, and I think why we've done quite all right is because we've been ourselves and that, that'll continue to happen. There's not going to be anything put on for the cameras. It'll be a real look into what happens at this football club. Yep. Um, so, I, again, I think we've, I, I think that's what fans have liked, that we've given them a real insight into the dressing room. So taking it one step further and actually showing them what, what goes on. Something a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah perfect, mate. Well, good luck anyway. I've completed Scottish football YouTube, haven't I? I've just interviewed Cy Ferry, um, one of the biggest names, if not the biggest in Scottish football YouTube. So, yeah, really good to um, to get him on. Uh, it's always a bit nervy, isn't it, interviewing the big names? Like when I was interviewing David Healy over at Linfield, or there's been a few other big names as well. But, yeah, fantastic to get him on and hear about um, some of the managers that he sort of wants to take influence from and stuff. Um, but it's such an interesting proposition, isn't it? Them coming in and changing the team name as well from Broomhill to Open Goal Broomhill. And if you didn't know, they used to be called BSC Glasgow. And they went from BSC Glasgow to Broomhill to now Open Goal Broomhill. And now there is a different team completely separate from Broomhill, who are now called BSC Glasgow, who play in the West of Scotland Division 4, so the very bottom tier of Scottish football. So it's a really, really interesting one. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how they get on this season. Cowden Beef have already played a game, as have Open Goal Broomhill. They've both played one each. Cowden Beef lost against Celtic's B team. Cowden Beef beat Spartans, who are a really good team as well. So it's going to be interesting this season to see how they both get on. Mozo, you've been on a couple of times before. Mm -hmm. I've been on your Twitch channel as well. Uh, it's good to see you again. <laughs> Could you it. just explain your role, firstly, at Open Goal Broomhill? Yeah, so it's basically media now. Um, I've been club ambassador for a couple of years, but I'm kind of adding bits and bobs to what I'm doing now. And um, it's mainly kind of co-commentary at the moment, yep. but um, all sorts of other things thrown into the mix as well. And could you explain... Obviously, the club is now Open Goal Broomhill. Before mm -hmm. that, they were Broomhill. Before that, they were BSC Glasgow. Could you just explain the sort of journey of the club to where they are now? Yeah, so, like, BSC, it, basically, the club's split in two because um, the youth team is now in the West of Scotland uh, leagues down the bottom where they are just now trying yep. to work their way up, but they just wanted to get more youth players playing, basically. We'd got to a point with BSC where they were struggling to get through because we were doing really well, top yep. end of the Lowlands League. So that happened, um, and then we had to change to Broomhill, um, and we didn't have the greatest season last season just with the way prep happened but this has came along um, I knew about it a few months before yeah, had to keep quiet season, yeah. so I had to keep it quiet <laughs> but um, so I knew starting like we had 560 odd fans yeah. on Saturday yeah so and for the pre-season friendlies there was four or 500 people as yeah, well right yeah. it's unheard of for a lone league team in a pre-season game I'm sure yeah I mean only the likes of Kelty and Bonnie and have had that kind of fan yeah, base so yeah. it's a big change for us we went from Eight, eight to ten season tickets last year to over a hundred now. Wow, okay, so amazing. Big, big Exciting times, mate. Well, good luck. All Cheers. the best. You're both local to Cowden Beef. Right. There's a bad year last year, but do you think they can go up this season? Right. Definitely. Right. You think uh, they're straight back up? Promotion this year? Hopefully, yeah. And score prediction, what are you thinking? 2-1. 2 one Three no Broomhill. Three no Broomhill. <laughs> what do you reckon? 2-1 uh, Cowden. Jack, we've met before mm -hmm. at Blythe Spartans. Of all places. Yeah, 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 strange. Met you at Blythe Spartans and now here today at Cowden Beef. And you're local to Cowden Beef. Yeah, yeah. Just explain how like the last couple of seasons have gone for the club. Well, they've been for the Championship down to the non League of Scotland now, so it's a yeah. bit of a weird one. But yeah, they were in the Championship, what, like five, six, seven years ago, something yeah, like that? Yeah, well, they were playing Habs Rangers and that, eh? So yeah. compared to this, now they're playing Open Goal, who have yep. rebranded into a new team today. So. Yeah. And so, what are you thinking about today? Are you confident Cowden Beef can get a win or are you excited nah. to see sort of open nah. goal here and uh, I'm excited to see open goal the way it's high plays is very good he's very yeah. entertaining um, so I but got people like Andy yeah. Andy, Andy and they there behind you yeah. Yeah. Past day, it's mental but uh, yeah I know it'll be good the score way. prediction what do you think 2-0 two 2-0 nil, two nil Broomhill 2-0 Broomhill yeah so I think it'll be good but if Broomhill can bring in they're bringing players like Kurt Broadfoot and that is I was so literally just about to say yeah, that yeah it's, yeah it's unbelievable the ties they've got and who they can bring in. Yeah. And so hopefully they do well. Yeah. And as I say, if Cowden get a result, then it's not that bad because I yeah, can go home in for a local team. <laughs> of course. I think Brimhill will win.
Here we go, players are coming out. So some really big names here today. Andy Halliday's up in the stand up there. Obviously the um, open goal lads too. Um, everybody's here, Slaney, Cy Ferry. I mean, just, I want to show you this stand. I want to show you the stadium. Like, I absolutely love these old grounds. But look, as you can see, we're about to kick off. I love the access I get at Lowland League Games. A huge thank you to Cowden Beef, of course. Everyone's talking about Open Gold Broom Hill, but you can't forget what a big side Cowden Beef are. They've won the second tier, the third tier, the fourth tier. We've kicked off here, and they were obviously a SPFL club for so, so long. But that's the main stand up there. And look at all the tyres we've got here. Oh, God, the ball's coming my way. Don't want to embarrass myself here, but yeah, fantastic just to sort of be here and the access that I get at the Lowland League is unbelievable. But the Lowland League has begun for another season. Hope you enjoy this video. There he is, number five, Kirk Broadfoot. He was at Inverness Caledonian Thistle last season, who were one game away from qualification in the Premiership. Yeah. Was that Kirk Broadfoot with a goal? Wasn't it? I think it was, yeah. It was the big man Broadfoot with a goal. Disallowed, I think. Foul on the keeper. Cowden Beef have had one disallowed there. Here we go, half time here, 1 0 to open goal, Broom Hill. What have you thought of the first half? It's been good, we've been chatting, chatting yeah, about the game. Good. What do you think? Yeah, 2 1 to open goal, Broom Hill, yeah. yeah. Right, yeah, we've had our expert prediction there, 2 1 um, to open goal, Broom Hill, he's saying. Um, Broom Hill have been pretty good so far. Kirk Broadfoot with the goal, big header. Um, but yeah, see you in the second half. Second half has begun, and again, love the access that I've got here today on what is the stock car racing track. I'm gonna go and maybe get a little bit of a vantage point around here in the second half, but it's always like, when you're at like these um, sort of smaller grounds or whatever, and you can move around a bit, it's always interesting just to like, come and try and get different views, and also try and guess where like most of the action's gonna be. Open goal were probably the better side in the first half, so, Am I going to be better off standing up here? I think maybe I will be. Obviously, we're watching a Lowland League game here today, look, but here's a reminder of the past of what was once here. A Scottish Championship sign from when Calvin Beef were in the Championship, the second tier, not too long ago, but now the fifth tier. Look at that, sun setting, non-league football. Fans up there, look at that golden hour here in Calvin Beef. The stock car racing track glimmering in the late evening sun here. Non-league football's back, there's fouls, they're swearing on the touchline. I'm so happy it's back. Yes! Oh, that's 2-0 open goal. So you're the ball girl here today, right? How do you think Cowden Beef have got on so far? Open goal have just scored, it's 2-0 now. Terrible. Terrible, and a lot of the old players left, didn't they? Yeah. I was updating my Instagram story, so I didn't catch the goal, but look at that, 3-0. What a statement of intent this result is going to be, if they can keep this up. <laughs> she's going home, Cowden Beef fan, she's not happy. I've been chatting to the ball boys a lot during this game. Very friendly bunch of lads here at Cowden Beef. All the five clubs, to be fair. Been to Dunfermline, Rafe Rovers, Kelty, of course, loads of times. Still never seen a game at East Fife. Um, made a video there, but the people there are very friendly. But Cowden Beef as well. Ball boys, everyone, made me feel very welcome. Right, so we're towards the end of the game now. <laughs> yes. You have a couple of Cowden Beef fans. 
How do you think the game's gone? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. Three nil down. Here we go. The game has ended three nil. I think Brogan, one of the ball boys, actually got the score prediction right at three nil. Um, but off come the players now. It's been fantastic getting this close to the action again. So glad that the lonely league is back. Look at him. Here, here they come. All the players. He got his score prediction spot on. Well done. Yes. Well done. He didn't hold much hope for Calden Beef, but how did you how did you think the game went? Uh, rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. Uh, rubbish. But what do you think they got to do to like kick on this season and maybe get back in? Bit, more pressure. Bit, bit more pressure. Like a few better defenders and a striker that's got some yeah. pace. But didn't you lose all, basically your whole team from last season? Uh, it one so it's gonna so it's gonna take a while to get back into it, isn't it? But yeah. yeah. Number four is pretty good today. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I thought, you had I thought you played all right. I think three 0 was a little bit harsh, maybe, but. Uh, a yeah. few refereeing decisions that could have gone the other way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, good luck anyway for the rest of the season. Before I wrap up the video, I just want to say a huge shout out to, I think it was Yvonne and Lewis, and they didn't want to be on the video. Two huge Cal and B fans, mother and son, lovely people. So they've watched the vid since I was about 8,000 subs or something. So I've come a long way since then. A huge thank you and sorry that when I've come here, you've lost 3 0. This is what I wanted to show you earlier when I was like, oh, I'll show you the ground before the game started. Look at like these old turnstiles and obviously the wheels from the stock car racing um, and the flags up there. These is, this is why lower league football is the best. You can go to Ibrox, Celtic Park, Liverpool, Man United and have a great, have an amazing time, don't get me wrong, but you won't see stuff like this when you go there. It's actually amazing to see the setup that Open Gold Broom Hill have got. Um, getting so close to the action and seeing it, because there's been a lot of chat about it online, of course, since it happened and some people have been really excited, some people not so much, but seeing it up close, it actually seemed like a really, really impressive operation. The amount of people they've got in terms of the team capturing content, from my perspective as a content creator, is very interesting, um, but you guys are obviously more football focused and won't really be thinking about the content like I would, and even from a football perspective, um, they were obviously really, really good today, played really, really well, scored three goals, probably could have been more, um, and you've got two wins out of two, one against Spartans, who are a really well established Lowland League team, and one against Calvin Beef, who have just come down from League Two. So really exciting times for the Broomhill fans. Um, so I'm sure you're looking forward to it. Met a few of you today as well. Um, and I've got another Broomhill game coming up. And then also Calvin Beef, I feel for them a little bit. Um, they've lost a large chunk of their squad. I think they basically just got youth players now. Um, so it's a real shame um, for them to see what's happened to them down the years, especially since like three miles down the road, you've got Kelty who have gone the opposite way. Um, I do feel for Calvin Beef a little bit, but let's see how they get on in the next few years. No one who's ever been relegated has come back up yet. Maybe Calvin Beef can be the first. They are a big team with a good support. So um, yeah, really good to see a game at Calvin Beef. I've got my fingers crossed for you guys. Um, a fantastic club. Thank you for the hospitality today. Thank you for allowing me in. And thanks to the Open Gold Broom Hill guys as well. Met a lot of you um, and really good to chat and stuff. So yeah, and to all the fans and all the ball boys and that, had a great time today. Non-league football's back. Please remember to hit that like button. Please do subscribe if you're new. I'll leave some videos on screen. Please click on to carry on watching. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next one.